Big Boy's Big neighborhood. Boy. Iggy Azalea Woo! is in the hey. neighborhood. It's our first time sitting down with you, Iggy. First off, yes. welcome to the neighborhood, oh, my and friend. there's the bell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the infamous bell. And I know that the album is done already, man. But done. if there's anything that you restrip or, you know, <laughs> if you come up with another mixtape, <laughs> yeah, you want to feature the bell? Let me know. I'll let you know. Let I'll, us know, man. I'll, I'll g- give you that sample check. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know what? And, I, and I'm telling you, man, <laughs> sometimes nice. that sample check can be crazy. But we'll yeah. work with you. Yeah. You know okay, what I'm saying? Cool. We'll work with you. I won't you, man. replay your bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't go and just jack us. You know bell. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the original. You it's come funny. To the I didn't know that was ringer. a real. I didn't never knew that was a real bell. I always thought it was just like. Right. Somebody just pressed it. Pressed. It's, nah, nah, it's nah, right nah, there. Nah. It's real. They just the, um, <laughs> the original bell ringer. Uh, damn, this is messing up my vibe now. He passed on. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he passed on. Oh, he's standing over there now. He's, a, he's not dead. He's, oh. right he's just over there. Oh. Yeah, he passed he on. Like, he died tragically. Oh, no, 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 like, no, no, I'm no, so no. sorry. No, he, he just passed on from, from being on mic. R.I.P. Okay, he's over there. Right. He's like, I love you, Woo. Ray. I thought you were going to have like an urn over there or something. <laughs> like, there. here he is, though. Like, yeah, have some ritual. Okay. Like, yeah, I want you to uh, smoke him with us. Yeah. That's what we do, man. All right, cool. First time an artist come in, they got to smoke. Let's awesome. believe that. So the album is will, will be available for us. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So so how does it feel to actually have that process done? Uh, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice because I think I can finally, um, it opens the door for me to do other things. For mm-hmm. people to see where I'm at, it's been over a year since I released anything, a mixtape or any sort of project. And was that from you just kind of pulling back, like shutting down Um, because you knew the album was coming? Yeah, well, it's it gets difficult when you are signed to a major label um, mm-hmm. and recording an album because any good song you have, they mm-hmm. don't want to put on a mixtape. Understandably, right. they want to save it. And then uh, if you do want to put out a mixtape, you don't want to put like all your shoddy right. um, stuff right, that right. wasn't good enough on right. there. Or at least that's not how I approach it. I approach it the same way I'd approach an album. So then that... That gets tough. Um, Do the labels move a little slower? Because mixtape wise, they move like slower. Kind of... And as well, when you have a single out in the market, they are kind of pretty against mixtapes because they're right. like, we don't want there to be any attention on something other than what we're selling and promoting. So then that gets difficult too. I would have loved to have put out a mixtape. Um, last year but to be honest with you i i don't know what i would have put on it because i put all the good stuff on, <laughs> right on the album. yeah so <laughs> like, just, i gotta save this would have been like here's all my like um b pluses right right <laughs> you this, know so you, you could have called the mixtape this didn't make the album yeah yeah you know like not quite right yeah, yeah. close right. but no cigar not quite right <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying so i wouldn't redo do it. that <laughs> yeah like maybe you should have seasoned it a little bit more so nah, it'd be greater later you know what i'm saying yeah, or if so worse come to worse play like you didn't want it out and i'll leak it for you oh be like oh Oh, no. Oh, man. That <laughs> big boy. Don't you know? know how this got out. Yeah, Thanks, you know, big. Good lawyer. You know, my picture's here with her on yeah. our wall. Yeah, but they yeah. can go a little crazy about that. Even if I put a freestyle out, I put some freestyle stuff out kind of like um, a few times last year, and they're like, it's not mixed and mastered. Oh, like, gosh. Ah! <laughs> I'm like, chill. It, Relax. It's okay. Now, how? Now, you're from Australia? I'm from Australia. Uh, hello. Sexy accent. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Tell really? me about it. Best believe that. Now, how does one say, oh, you know what? I'm getting up. I'm leaving. Because to get up and leave home plate, a lot it's of people tough. don't do that. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm from here. I <laughs> yeah. made it here. Like, I, I couldn't chase it. Yeah. What is that like? Now, how old were you when you, when you bounced? 16. 16 years of age. How does a 16-year-old say, deuces, I'm, I'm out of here? leaving? Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I had kind of unintentionally dropped mm. out of high school. I had actually missed so many days um, skipping class, right. as you it can happens, sometimes, yeah. that yeah, some they said to me, that. you're not going to you're not gonna pass <laughs> your grade, but if you um, do online school, you could still you could be exempt from the fact you've skipped so much. Mm. So it didn't begin as me saying I'm dropping out. It began as me trying to save my school year that I'd ruined. And that was just didn't Didn't work happen. No, (laughs) you won't do your own classes online. So then I did no classes online. And I, when I was doing these online classes, trying to finish my year, I I took a full-time job and I was saving. I, I had always wanted to go to America. I really had a, 
a big interest in rap music, being a rapper or being an engineer and working in a music studio. Right. I wanted to be in the music industry somehow. I was really interested in that. And I wanted to maybe go to an engineering school or do something that could get me to America where I thought music had just had a higher quality of kind of production and standard. And um, so I was saving up this money, trying to have a full-time job doing that and kind of I guess in the long run it didn't backfire, but no, at the time at it backfired yeah. in um, hindsight, because it's it just always resulted like me. in me getting like no work done at all. So you at le- all? Who, now you leave at sixteen. Who yeah. do you go? Who do you stay with when you Where touch do you down? Go? You don't. You don't go oh. stay with anyone. You go. So I, you didn't have family out. No, no I didn't have any no family. No? Yeah, no, I had no one. Um, the I I had like a a fr- a friends family mm. that lived there which is i suppose yeah, that's partially why yeah okay. i chose miami also there's an uh engineering school there called sae and their head- headquarters are in the town next to mine where i lived in australia and so i felt familiar with this school and i was like you know if it doesn't work out or if i couldn't pay for my schooling i could come back and it's here in this town too mm-hmm. and i could finish it and i had always really wanted to go to this school so i chose miami and i felt like well my friend's family lives there that's someone mm-hmm. because i don't know anybody that lives in america period <laughs> so i'll yourself. go to miami so i went to miami i had a lot of money saved i've been working full time for about a year and i went and stayed in an all right type of hotel for a little while and lived there for maybe a month or two um, and then met people and got roommates and ended up figuring it out. Um, Damn. And, yeah, I did that. At Just 16, picked up and I was a yeah. straight bum. <laughs> like, I wasn't I wasn't trying to chase no dream and, you Have know. Have a full-time I mean? job and save yeah, money. Yeah, job, like, yeah, you know, crazy. Crazy. yeah I'd had a job for a long time. I think it's different when you're from a small town, though. I think, in a way, um, especially in Australia, I do notice that it's easier to get jobs and a lot of the jobs here that would be something that would be maybe part time for somebody in high school because there's limited jobs here. It, right. it would go to an adult and it would be something you'd do full time. But thankfully for me, because I am from a small town, I'd been working since I was 14 doing mm. having real jobs and yeah. getting paid real wages. And I just don't think... If I had lived in America, I'd, I don't think I would have been able Not to. That Man, easy to when, do that. when you got to America, was it kind of different than what it you was thought? So did you, different. Did you get caught up a little <laughs> so bit in anything, different. or everything was different. Um, I saw America in movies, right? Uh, and what was I, that movie or a few movies that you saw? Like, man, I'm going every, every movie, right. every movie. <laughs> but I, one thing that I liked about Miami that I would see all the time was CSI Miami, right, and right. it just looked like <laughs> really <laughs> great. And I was like, I like Miami. I thought all of Miami looked like South Beach. Oh, yeah, Lord. No. Yeah, you no. look like South Beach. Yeah, Definitely you got not. down there like, what the I hell? I ended up living in Miramar, which like. is kind of far from South Beach and definitely not on the beach at all. <laughs> I hardly ever like went South to beach. the beach. Yeah. I was like, I may as well not be in Miami because I'm not seeing this beach very often. And places, yeah. I mean, Miami, man, when you swing the camera around to Ooh. other areas, it looks crazy as hell. <laughs> very different. It do. Hell it really yeah. does. Best believe that. It does. Um, It can look very crazy. So it wasn't one I expected, but there were definitely like there were cool things that I would get really excited by that would just be normal to a lot of people like in Miami they have donks I'd donks? never heard of a dunk before Hell, I'm from, I'm like from a street here, like a street sign slapper a, like a car with humongous wheels you oh, can strap it so high you can a strap a street oh. sign oh uh, man I've okay we need to that, work on our car yeah. then yeah. Yeah. man you're teaching us you had to come all the way from Australia to Miami <laughs> to grow up <laughs> and then come and give us some slam yeah. Yeah. thank you she yeah. 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 like man who the f- <laughs> from the United States. Not they don't know that. Man, like, yeah. That's a hip hop thing. Like, <laughs> don't grinding like D O N K. Like, I'm riding in my dunk. Go ahead oh. now. Oh. 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 You said dunk. dunk yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you said dunk. Yeah. yeah not dunk. I thought my you were talking bad. about yeah. your behind. Yeah, I, I thought exactly I wanted to clarify. Oh, yeah, oh, not a dunk. Oh, a dunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, that don't make sense. I thought that was so cool. I'd never seen anything like that. And where I lived, so many of the guys around there like had them. And I was like, what are these cars? These are amazing. I've never I've never seen this before. You're walking under it like, oh, Lord, I'm Yeah, right. like, what the hell? So there were, like, so many things, like, so many things like that that I just would be, like, completely amazed by Man, that I've never crazy. seen before. Y'all stick around your radios. We got Iggy Azalea in the neighborhood, Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy.